this week to uh, to also play a conference game right off the bat too. Usually it's a couple weeks not conference. Big Ten want to switch up a little bit. You guys got Penn State right off the bat. How's the, yeah. What's that challenge for us? Oh, it's going to be a big challenge for us, but you know, guys, we're ready. And, you know, this week will be big for us just to you know hone in what we need to hone in on, uh, study them, and you know just attack it. Um, you know, they, we know it. We know what to expect with them. They're going to be a lot of different blitzes and a lot of different things like that. So you know, just you know knowing um, what we see with our eyes, trusting what we see with our eyes, and just trusting and letting go and having fun as a team. Um, you know, I'm excited for us to um, be able to go out there and, uh, on Saturday and show what we can do. Graham's been keeping it close to the hip, and rightfully so, about game plans. But, you know, just talking about the offensive weapons that you bring, all you guys this year, um, how, how lethal do you feel like this offense can be? Well, I think it could be really lethal, but, um, you know, um, you can think a lot. You know, you got to go out there and actually play and, and show what you can do. So I'm excited to go out there, you know, uh, on Saturday and attack it with the guys and, you know, make plays, but also, you know, make plays for the running backs in the run game. You know, just be as a, a whole offense come together and, and, you know, just work together. So I'm excited as a whole for offenses to come together and you know, attack the state. Uh, having a full house at Camp Randall, too, we're expected to pretty much be close to a full house on Saturday. You know, how much does that excite you and the offense and the whole team? Oh, yeah, it's really exciting. Um, you know, last year, with how last year the COVID year was, um, nobody was allowed to come. So, you know, having uh, fans behind us is, you know, just an extra, you know, you know, boost we need. And, you know, I'm excited for them to be back, and, you know, we're just going to attack it for them. Is it Danny, like, how, I know that you, you missed the last couple of open camp practice, open cool. fall camp practices. How are you feeling right now? Are you expected to go then on Saturday? Yeah, I'm gonna go on Saturday. I feel great. Um, I'm 100%. Um, you know, I've been back back to practice, so I, I feel real good. Been running routes, been doing a lot of things. So, you know, I feel really great, and I'm just ready to attack it. I was gonna say, man, ask though, like, what what exactly happened that, that caused that, and just what were your initial reactions when that happened? Um, I just had like a little, hit my head a little bit. Um, you know, I had a little bit of a headache, but um, it was more of a precautionary thing. Um, wanted to be smart, just how last year went. Um, it was nothing too bad, but I just wanted to be smart. You know, so I'm here for week one and throughout the season. Um, luckily, you know, I've um, you know, prayed night in and night out, just you know, just for um, you know guidance and, and, and you know, just the God to put His hand on, on everything. So you know, everything worked out, and you know, I'm blessed and to the, um, work hard and. You know, Saturday. Is that during that Wednesday practice that, you, yes. that happened? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was more. Yeah, it was nothing. I don't. I don't think I was diagnosed with anything. You know, it was more like a precautionary thing. I wanted to be smart, um, not pushing it. Um, you know, um, and you know, just making sure I'm 100 percent before I, I get back to you know playing football. Um, I, I honestly, uh, like, are you saying like? Like total or yeah, like, uh, I, I want to say one for sure. Yep. With the the, the the wide receiver room, you know, we, I know Chimre and Jack are listed at you know the number two wide receiver spots between behind you and Kendrick. But who else in that group? Yeah, you know, do you feel? Now that fall camp's over, they stepped up their games in fall camp and could be able to contribute this season. Um, shoot. Um, Devin, you know, Devin's going to be a big contributor for us. Um, AJ Abbott, you know, will be a good, big contributor for us. Um, um, Marcus Allen um, will be, a, I feel like, will be, you know, a big contributor for us. And, you know, just, you know, taking them guys under um, our wing, um, you know, as me and Kevin, just showing them, like, the ropes and showing them what to expect and things like that. But, you know, all camp they made a, uh, did a great job of making plays and um, um, have shown they can, you know, make those plays as well. So, you know, just giving them the confidence and, you know, respect that they need to go out there and make plays. So, yeah, they're probably, like, the top three guys that have been uh, the main four that we have. What kind of season is this for Danny Davis? What kind of season is this for the Wisconsin Bucks? Um, I think it's going to be a big season, man. Um, you know, I'm excited to you know show everybody what what I can do, but you know I'm more excited of the, as an offense of what we all can do. We got a lot of pieces in the offense, and you know we have a chance to be really explosive. So you know I'm excited as a whole, but you know um, you know I'm gonna go out there and attack each game like it like it's my last. Cause you just never know, man. So I'm just going out there with the mindset to attack each game and um, you know, just enjoy it as it goes. Um, otherwise, I'm sorry. Um, just as a whole, um, I love the way we've been clicking, um, you know, during fall camp, and you know, um, as an older guy, um, you know, I just have that, you know, more of a leadership leadership role with the, like, with the receivers. So, you know, I'm, I, feel, I believe that we just want to um, um, bounce back from last year. Um, we are, we're really hungry. I know. Of, Personally, I'm hungry for um, to have a better season than last year with how that ended. So just you know, us wanting more than what we had last year. That's it. 
Danny, what do you see out of that Penn State? I know it's a new year, a new team. There'll be different players switching around, but what do you don't typically see from that Penn State defense and that secondary that could you know, pr provide some matchup problems? Oh yeah, they um, you know they're they're a defense that plays hard, man, and you know they, they fly around the ball, they make plays, so you know just. You know, knowing our game plan and knowing how to attack them is um, our main thing. I feel like um, whoever's the most sound on offense and or on defense, like whoever makes the most, the less mistakes, will win that game. So you know, it's going out there and attack and doing what we do. And if we do that, I feel like we'll be in great shape. And then, last, I guess, what are expectations for not just you but Kendrick and even seeing like Chimray out with a, like a three wide receiver set? What are your expectations for the receiver group? Big time, man. Just um, going out there and making plays, often, uh, pass and run. You know. Um, you know, just being all around receivers, um, you know, all three of us have, de have done a great job in camp this, um, this fall, just, you know, going out there and attacking in a run and attacking in a pass. So just being complete players, but also, you know, being them, being them guys that, you know, spark the offense and spark, make those plays that, you know, can, can uh, lead us to the wins.